Uh, good morning, good afternoon, brother and sister Christ. It's the day the Lord has made you really just me glad in it. Y'all know I haven't been on here for a while. Um, it's something I want to talk about. Excuse me. The Lord been having that in my spirit. I have put on there that it's coming to time we have to be careful what we say. On the community post. Y'all, we're in another transition. Expect persecution. They're going to come up with all these laws and stuff. The Lord been telling us this. And I've been having a lot of dreams a lot about our children, the mental children, y'all. It's going to get so hard. People going to be, um, with these children, the mental children, they're going to be abandoned. It's going to be so much going on, y'all, in this world. It's still going. But the Lord got me into the wicked wine dresser. Vine dresser, I mean. Revela I mean, revelation. Lord, why you got me in revelation? Revelation. The woman, the child, and the dragon. I'm going to say Revelation 12. Okay, um, the Lord got me in Mark 12. got me in Revelation 12 in my mind right now. Revelation 12, Lord. See, in Revelation 12, it's talking about Satan thrown out of, out of heaven. The woman, the child, and the dragon. The woman, the child, and the dragon. Because we know about these abortion laws. These women, it's Satan. Hell, I don't know why the Lord got me in Revelation 12. But the Lord got me in Mark 12, y'all, this morning. And it's about the, uh, the wicked vine dressers. About uh, Jesus and the religious leaders, y'all. This is what's supposed to go on. And a lot of these religious leaders, they all against Jesus Christ. They don't even like each other, but they have one thing in common is to get rid of Jesus Christ. They, don't, they want to go against God and His law and His word, His kingdom. Because also I seen a post, I did a post community post. One lady talking about uh, it wasn't enough AR-15s or something in Jesus Christ. Let me read. Jesus didn't have enough AR-15s to keep the government from killing him. Cause these people don't even they don't, these people don't believe in Jesus Christ, and they're against God's law. So this is going to happen, and y'all know expect us to get persecuted. I'm still thinking about this dream I had too. Another dream I had about these mental children, and they had a, like a, a a skin, a cold. Talking about the mark, y'all. There's so much going on, but even they've been talking about mental health. But these mental, it was children, mental children. They was abandoned. They abandoned the children. They was in the house. And it's a, a tiki hut. But they're going to be abandoning the mental children. I, this second time I've been having dreams about children that's mental. And, and um, abandonment. People are going to be abandoning these children because they're going to be a burden to them. They ain't going to be able to handle these children. These, uh, even the parents. Y'all, this thing is getting hard. Parents ain't gonna be the, it's gonna be the children gonna be like a burden to them because so much gonna be going on. They ain't gonna have time to um they're gonna make the children mental children a burden to them. They're gonna be abandoning these children. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to Mark 12. Cause the Lord got me about Jesus and the religious religious uh Jesus and the religious leaders. Cause the fair uh in here it's talking about Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes. And people don't want to, they go, they want to go against God's law, his commandments, and people still believe in the Old Testament. All these religions, these religious leaders, they teach different things. That's why I say people don't be talking about the same God you're talking about. 
And some people, they take out parts. The Lord been telling us people been taking parts. They, back then, the Romans and them, they took out these demons. They been taking out parts of the Bible and reading what they and turn it to what they in, their own doctrine. And we ought to be careful because even now, I don't even see a lot of people talking about the word of the Lord. A lot of people have left the Lord. Even these supposed to be, uh, these, uh, the Lord is talking about the irresponsible shepherds. So much people have lost faith, left from the Lord, going into the world. And then they racing, messing with people to talk about the word of the Lord, talk about the truth. You know, the Lord talking about his law, his commandments, Jesus Christ. Because when that woman made that statement, talking about Jesus didn't have enough AR-15s to keep, keep his government from him, from killing him. They didn't even have AR-15s back then. They had the sword. And, and what God have is more powerful than an AR-15. Y'all, these people playing with it. You gotta, this is what we fight with religious leaders. This is why we have to expect to be persecuted and go get killed. Like Jesus Christ, because greater is he that's in me than he of, the, in, of this world. So Jesus Christ is a sign of us, the Holy Spirit. Because I put a community post also, and the Lord said, persecution and prosecution. They're going to be having us all, they're going to be having people, we're going to be in prisons, jail, fines, court, killed. It's coming to a time of persecution, y'all. They're coming up with all these laws. And going, if you go against it, they, they even taking people, cutting you off from you. Okay, let's go to this. Mark 12. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vine yard and set a hedge around it, dug a place for the wine vat, and built a tower. And he leased it to the vine dresser and went into a far country. Now at vintage time, he sent a servant to the vine dresser that he might receive some of the fruit of the vineyard from the vine dresser. And y'all know the fruits. Fruits are the spirit, but also the first fruits. The generations too, y'all. It's so much. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. See? these people. When God go send out the people to go say the word, they punish them. The fruits. That's why I said God, even God's children. We're going to expect to be persecuted, y'all. And they sent them away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant. And him, they threw stones, wounded him in the head, and sent him away to shameful threat. I mean, and shamefully treated. They sent away and shamefully treated. And again, they sent another. And they and him, they killed. That's why I tell y'all, the Lord said this guy. They killed. And many others, beating some and killing them. Therefore, still having the one son he beloved, he also sent him to the to them last, saying, They will respect my son. But those vine dressers said among themselves, This is the hair. Come, let us kill him, and to inheritance will be ours. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. Also, you know, the Lord sent Jesus Christ, but also prophets, people in the word of the Lord. This is exactly what the Lord gave me about my, my post. He been putting in my spirit. God's people. You see how they kept sending, and this is in red, so this is Jesus speaking. They threw stones at them and kept sending them out. So we're going to be in persecution. Now, y'all expect this to happen. Therefore, that, look, therefore, what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the vine dresser, the vine dressers and give them, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not even read the script, this scripture? The stone which the builder rejected. They rejected Jesus Christ. And people following these folks. Oh, and the Lord said the blind will lead the blind into a ditch. It says, the stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord doing. And, and, and it is marvelous in, it, in our eyes. It's the Lord doing. And they sought to lay hands on him, but feared the multitude, for they knew he had spoken the parable against them. So they left him and went away. 
Now look at this, it's about the fair season. It is about lawful pay taxes to Caesar. Told you, law and taxes. Because they hated Jesus for talking about them but getting over folks and going against God's law. Then they sent to him some of the Pharisees and the Herodians to catch him and his words. When they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one. You do not regard the person you do not regard the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. It is lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not. Shall we pay or shall we not pay? See, they try to be funny with the Lord, try to set him up. That's why the Lord told me they're going to try to use what you say against you. That's why we got to ask God for wisdom because he'll give us what to say. And these people knew that the Lord Pharisees, they knew God was real. But look, the Pharisees and the Herod, they, they didn't even like each other. But they had one thing in common. They came against, they come together to get rid of Jesus Christ. Like they're going to come together to get rid of God's people who are following his children. And then they try to be funny. And then it said, but he knowing their hypocrisy said to them, why do you test me? Testing the Lord. Bring me a, des a denarius that I may see it. So they brought it, brought the money. And he said to them, who image and, and inscription of this? So it was a, a coin with Caesar on it. They said him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered and said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God. And you see why money? Because that's all it is. The love of money is the root of evil. That's why they want to be riches and glory of the world. And let's go back when Satan tried to test Jesus. They even still just testing Jesus. That's what God say. They gonna, we got to uh, don't get weary of doing good and be careful. One more time, then we're going to be, you, the, he'll give us what to say. Because these people going to try to use what we use against us. That's why I say the community post the Lord is. A man, the Lord is a man that never lie. And he said, give to Caesar's what Caesar's, and to God what is God? God people, because we are an image of the Lord. And these people be holding people captive, God's people captive. But this is why the Lord tells us not to go into, don't be, a, he said, you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy to me. That's why you don't, people going to be so, this also changing into with this NWO and the mark of the beast thing. Because people going to fall. They want riches and glory. They're going to trust in, trust in this system. And they ain't going to have faith in the Lord. And the Lord kept telling them, kept keep on telling me, make sure we keep our faith in the Lord, y'all. They trying to make it hard that people have to surrender to him. But we have faith in the Lord. Our Father, he owns a kingdom. His kingdom is big. He owns the whole world. But look at they was trying to test the Lord. But let's go on to the Sadducees. What about the resurrection? Because they don't believe in the dead. That's why the Lord told me some people just want to stay, go back to the Old Testament. They don't believe in Jesus Christ would die from uh, had uh, resurrected. These people even deny angels and demons. They they don't believe. They just this, these people all going together and all these leaders and stuff and these presidents. They, they you gotta understand. They got these people was taught this stuff and passed down. But the Lord say he when you you gotta drop and drop everything and follow him, that means you gotta give you your whole new mindset. These people, all these people coming together. That go back with that woman talking about that AR 15. These people don't care, these people don't like Jesus. Let's read the Sadducees. Then some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to him. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote to us. That it is a if a man dies and leave his wife behind and leaves no children, his brother should take his wife and raise up offsprings of his father of uh of, and raise up offsprings from his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and dying, he left no offspring, and the second took her and he died. Nor did he leave any offspring. The third likewise. So the seven had her and left no offspring. Last, all the women also died. The woman died also. So this is why the Lord had me in Revelation 12. Because look what it's talking about. The 
the woman, the children, and the dragon. Because I'll tell you about our children, but tell my women in here too. Y'all so much. And they know us talking about when, and uh, about Jesus. And uh, I mean, I'm talking about when um, Satan was thrown out of heaven. The Lord told me to keep making sure I stay in Revelation too. See, and the second took her and he died, nor did leave any offspring. The third likewise, so the seven had her and left no offspring. Therefore, therefore in the resurrection, when they rise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had her as a wife. And it says seven. And up in here, it got seven. In Revelation 12, it got seven too. Seven diagrams. Seven heads, ten horns. You talking about the nations? Y'all, yeah. oh, I'm trying to. Lord, give me this. I'm trying to put it together with y'all. Okay, Jesus answered and said to them, "Are you not therefore mistaken because you do not know the scriptures nor the power of God? Because you got God say you got to have all the scriptures. That's why people don't even believe in revelations." Cause they only want to believe the Sadducees. They only believe in. I think I had, they only believe in um. Only five books. They only believe in like part of the. They don't read the rest of the Bible, so they don't even believe Jesus Christ. So they don't even believe about the revelations. Cause it said about the scripture, the law said you gotta read the whole book. You can't have. The word is the word. That's why the Lord said you can't add nothing, you can't take it away. That's why the Lord told us to be careful, people with doctrine, false doctrine. And he said if you add to it, you'll be added, these plays will be added to you. You add to the word of the Lord. And if you take it away, then you'll be taken from the book of life. Because then the Lord said right here, you do not know the scriptures, nor the power of God. For when they rise from the dead, they neither manner, I mean, they neither marry nor given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. But concerning the dead, they are that they are, but concerning the dead that they arise, have you not read in the book of Moses in the burning bush passage? How God spoke to him saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. You therefore are greatly mistaken. And they didn't even believe in talking about angels or demons. No. God is of the living, not of the dead. The dead is dead. The dead are buried itself, but God is living. But also, people dead in Christ. Because they didn't believe in Jesus Christ or nothing. They dead to the word. The scriptures, the Bible. God is the true living God, the word. They ain't even believe in it. That's why I say all these people come against God. They, they, they don't, they don't, they, these people don't have, they don't like each other, but they have one thing in common. That's what God told us. We have, even though everybody on this earth have differences, we should have one thing in common. They should go against God's law. That's why I told you I seen this, uh, this gay guy. And he was talking about, uh, how he's against them pushing this, this agenda on the children. And that's why I said they after the kids. That's why we have something in common. God's law, his words, commandments. A lot of people that's gay, they still believe in the scriptures and some don't. But the Satan, they'll come together. But we're bickering against each other. And they're doing this with separation with race wars and what, the, together we stand divided, we follow. We all have come together with following God's law. That's coming against, they going against God's law. We come together going against, come together with uh, having coming with God's word. We can go against the enemy. But separation, they, they know they're separating each other, all of us. These people, y'all. 
Okay, now this describes which is the first commandment of all. See the commandments. Then one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well. And asked him, which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Excuse me. The Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Because that's why I said, your neighbor, you know, that's why they want to do this division, separating with these alphabets and color races and they come in with all this to separate us each other. And we all and we all sit up under the same roof and have one thing in common. The Lord, His law, and His word. And separate God's people. That's what God said. Let Caesar, well, let Caesar have what Caesar's. And God have what God's. But they, it's called so much separation. And the irresponsible shepherds. They don't allow this to happen. They don't let a uh, wolf them crap on among the sheep. They don't left the word of the Lord and went into the world and, and, and followed and, and lead the people to they start to be just like the religious leaders. And what Lord say, uh, some people, a lot of people have religious spirits. It's about a relationship, not a religious, a religion. This is what we're fighting against, y'all. It's getting even deeper. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth. For there is one God, and there is no other but He. And you know the Lord say, Him and His Son are one. And to love Him with all, our, with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and love one another, love one's neighbor as Himself, if more than is more than all the whole burnt offering and sacrifices. And to love our one neighbor as himself, as oneself, and more than all of the burnt, whole burnt offering and sacrifices. Now when Jesus saw that and um, saw that, he answered wisely. He said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. See, he answered wisely. You are not far from the kingdom of God. But after that, no one dares question him. Then Jesus answered and said to said, while he taught in the temple, how is it that the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? For David himself said by the Holy Spirit, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Said the Lord gonna make your enemies your footstool. We just have to be stay stay with the Lord, y'all. He gonna make your enemies your footstool. Therefore, David himself calls him Lord. How is he then his son? They question him. And the coming and the common people heard him gladly. Then he said to him, to them in his teaching, Beware of the scribes. Look, beware of the scribes who desire to go around in long robes, love greeting in the marketplace, the best seats in the synagogues, and the best places of feasts, who devour widows' houses for pretests, make long prayers. That they receive greater con condemnation. See the widows. No, these people. Wait, why are with these children? Cause they scribes. They they just they perpetrate. That's why I said the Lord got me with Revelation twelve. And that's talking about the woman, a child, and the dragon. Now Jesus said opposite to the treasury and saw how the people put money into the treasury. Told they all about money, even with these widows. No, they probably snuck up in with these women, y'all. And these children. When the head, the man is gone, then Satan creeped on in. And the what you the head the man is the head of the house. That's why they separate the households. Separate these men and y'all. Now Jesus said opposite and opposite now Jesus sat opposite the treasurer and saw how the people put money into the treasury. And many who were rich put in much. Then one poor widow came and threw into two mites, threw in two mites, which made a, a quarrel. So he called the discipline of the disciples to him 
So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than, than all who have got who have given to the treasury, for they all put in out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all that she had. Her whole life livelihood. This one put in everything she had to the Lord. That's why the Lord said people need to surrender. You ever you gotta surrender everything to the Lord. Let's go to let's go to Mark thirteen. This is talking about the prediction of the destruction of the temple, but also the Lord gave me solid by Solomon Temple was being built. Solomon Temple in Second Chronicles, he gave me this. Gave me about Second Chronicles. It was talking about I remember about by Solomon build the temple, and then what got me right here was Second Chronicles seven was for He is good and His mercy endures forever. read this. Mark 13. Because you know your body is a temple. Then as he went out to the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Teachers, see the manner of the stones in which he built up are here. You know, also building your foundation strong in the Lord. A lot of people ain't going to understand what's going on. Because their foundation is not strong in the Lord. They follow a lot of these religious leaders. These people going against the Lord. And people that send to the Lord, if they ain't, that's why God says, seeking where He can, because they want to wipe it all off. Got to have a relationship. You better look now to see people giving the word of the Lord, the true real word of the Lord, because people have so many false prophets and stuff out there, y'all. And they already striking people. That's what the Lord said. You're going to have to be careful what you say. you got to ask God for wisdom. Because they'll use, try to use what you have, what the Lord gave you against you, to put a strike on you, to cut you off, to, to persecute you. Like they just did up in here trying to mess with the Lord. To test the Lord. And Jesus answered and said to him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone shall be left upon another. That shall not be thrown down. Because he also the chief cornerstone. And this is a sign of end times. Y'all let's read this. Now he said at the Mount of Olives opposite of the temple. Peter, James, John and Andrew asked him privately. Tell us when will these things be. And, and what will the, be of the signs of the time. And what will be the sign when all these things will be fulfilled. And Jesus answered them and began to say, Take heed that no one deceive you. See? Because people with false doctrines. These religious leaders. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. I will And he will deceive. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. And I will... And... For many will come in my name saying, I am he, and will deceive many. But when you hear the wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famine and trouble. These are the beginnings of sorrow. But watch out for yourself, for there will be delivered up to castles. The Lord gave me this yesterday. And I put it this on the community post. And you will be beaten in the synagogues, and you will be brought before the ruling king for my sake, for a testimony to them. And the gospel must first be preached to all the nations, but when you are, when they arrest you and deliver you up, do not be worried beforehand. Do not worry beforehand or uh, premeditate what you will speak, for whatever is given to you in that hour, speak, for it is 
is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Now, brother, now brother will betray brother to death and father, father his child. And the children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by my name, for uh, all by my name. And you will be hated by all by, for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. And then it's going into the great tribulation. This is why I tell y'all, God's coming back. And this is what we're going to and need to. And then it's talking about the great tribulation. So when you see the abomination, desolation, spoken by Daniel the prophet, standing where I are not, let the, lead, let the reader understand that those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, let him who are in the housetops not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of the house, and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. Because y'all know they come up with these laws and stuff. People, y'all folks going to turn on you, turn you in and everything. Hell, I'm going to kill you because they into this stuff. For the riches and glory of the earth. I mean, the uh, riches and glory of this world. Satan. Look at this. Because this, that's what I'm saying. Instead of leading back to Revelation 12. About the, uh, the woman, the dragon. And the children. And let. And let him who is in the field. Not go back into the clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant. And to those who nurse and babes in those days. And they doing that now. With this, bag, this formula. And pray that your flight may not be in the winter. For those days will, will be a trip, will be tribulation. Such as not have been seen since the beginning of the creation. Which God created until this time. Nor ever shall be. And unless the Lord has shortened those days. No flesh will be saved. But for the elect's sake. Whom he chose. I mean, who him, whom he chose. He, he, whom he chose. He shortened the days. Then if anyone says to you, look, here's the Christ, or look, he is there, do not believe it. For false Christ, with an S, and false prophets will rise, showing, showing signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. But take heed, see, I have told you all things beforehand. And then it said, the coming of the Lord. Because then you go to Revelation 12, the Lord got me with Revelation 12. It's talking about even when um, Satan was thrown out of heaven. And the woman persecuted him with Jesus. The woman carried away with the flood. Oh, they're still talking about the woman, the child, and the dragon. And this all still talking about women, children, and Satan, and the Lord. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun will darken and the moon will not, will not give the light. The stars of heaven will fall and the power of the heavens will be shaken. And then you will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with a great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather him, I mean, and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of the earth to the farthest part of heaven. See, and that's got me back with the Revelation 12. Okay, then the Lord gave me... Mark 7. And this is what he gave me. Then the Pharisees and some of the scribes came together to him, having come to coming from Jerusalem. Now when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with, with the fowl, that is, with the unwashed hand, they found fault. See, they still found fault. And this is talking about the Pharisees and the um, Sadducees. For the Pharisees and other Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands in a special way, holding the traditions of the elders, which they came, which they come from the marketplace. They do not eat unless they wash. They had a problem with them, picking with them about how they wash their hands. And there are many other things which they have not, they have received in whole light. The washing of cups, pitchers, copper vessels, and couches. Then the Pharisees and scribes Ask them, what do you disciples not walk according? Why do you disciples not walk according to the traditions of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said to them, This is Jesus. Well, did Isaiah prophesy to you, hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Because this is what people think. 
And people right they honor the Lord. That's why I say a lot of people are lukewarm. But also these people honor the Lord with their lips, but they far from the Lord. That's why I say you got to be careful. Everybody say they, what God are you talking about? But their hearts are far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the comm commandments of men. See, false doctrines, and this is a commandments of men. And the Lord told us about giving us about commandments. His commandment to love the Lord the God with all your heart, with all your soul. The first commandment of all these commandments. Uh, here, Lord of all God, I mean, the first commandment is to, uh, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And that's the first commandment. And the second, like this, is to, you should love your neighbors, you love yourself, and no other commandments is greater than me. Then he gave me this, and this time my commandments are men. And the teaching, because the false doctrines, because they're going to do everything, go against God's word, and help people. Gonna come against God and His people, cause God is in us. Great is He that's in me than He of this world. He abides in us. We abide in Him. That's why He just gave us about false doctrines. He just talks about false teachers and I mean false Christ and false prophets that rise up and show signs and wonders to deceive many, if possible. But He just gave us in Mark thirteen. For laying aside the commandments, we're going back to uh, Mark 7, y'all. For laying aside the commandments of God, you hold the traditions of men, and washing of pitchers and cups, and many other such things you do. He said to them, all too well you reject the, the commandments of God, that you may keep your traditions. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother. See, so he's talking about father, mothers and parents. And he who curse, curses father and mother. You know, I'm already talking about the Lord and... Honor your father and mother, your mother, and he who curses father and mother, let him be put to death. But you say, for man say to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me and, cur uh, and Corbin is curbing the gift of God. But also the Lord said right here, it's going to be Mark uh, 12. It says, but the now brother, you will... A betrayed brother to death and father his child and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. See how that and they got together? Y'all, I'm with y'all on me. They gonna honor their mother and father. They gonna go against. Making the word of the Lord. Look, he says, because that's what they lie. The Pharisees and scribes. That's what God told us. Make sure we, uh, they're gonna teach false doctrine. Have people turn against. That's why separation. And turn people against each other. Parents and Y'all, all trick of the enemy. It says, then you no longer let him do any of anything for his father or his mother. Go go against that. I want you to even to be doing that for your father, or your mother. The law of the commandments. What these these laws, these people, these false religious, I mean, these uh religious leaders, these people making up this government, making up, how are you going against your own mama and daddy? But the Lord saw us already in Revelation. I mean, in Mark, in Mark twelve, we going to them last days. Everybody against each other. It's gonna be what they laws, what they got going on, and all this commotion and. It already caused separation when it came with this. Had people, your family didn't want to be around folks and you didn't get this. Say come to kill, steal, and destroy, but the Lord come to give us life and have it more abundantly. It says, then you no longer, you no longer let him do anything for his father or mother, making a word of God of no effect through your traditions, which you have handed down, and many such things you do. When he has called all the called all the multitude to himself. He said to them, "Hear me, everyone, and understand. There is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him. But the things that comes out of him, out of him, those are the things that defile a man. If anyone has ear, let him hear. Because the Lord tells us to pay attention to the fruits of the spirit. It's what come out of a person, how they are, what they mouth, what they speak, how they act." And when he has entered a house away from the crowd, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. So he said to them, 
Are you thus without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatever enters a man from outside can cannot defile him, but it does not enter his heart, but his stomach, and it is eliminated. Thus purify all foods. And he said, What comes out of a man that defiles that defiles man from for with, from within, out of the heart of a man, proceed evil thoughts, adultery, fornication, murder, theft, conversiousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolish. All these things come from within the, the defiles of man. Because that's what they eat too. And they come with all these laws. Going against God's law. His word, man, what's coming out their mouth. And then tell my pride right here. And you know they all in the White House came up with that and tell my pride month. Yo, you gotta stay close to the Lord. At all times. And we gotta keep our faith in the Lord. Let's read this. From there he arose and went into the region of Trey and Sidon, and he entered a house and wanted no one to know it. But he could not be hidden, for a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him, and she came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek and a, a Syrophonican, Phoenician by birth. Phoenician, Phoenician. Is that phenocyte? Sonia? I don't know what that is, y'all. By birth, and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to her, Let the children be filled first. For it is not good to take the children bread and throw it to the little dog. See, that's what I'm saying, children. And that's Revelation talking about the woman, the children, and the dragon. Because tell you, our generation are for the fruits, the children. And that's what they are in the mindset, and the parents. No, I'm just, my mind just thinking so much going on. And they even having children up in the, um, drag, uh, a show, in a club, in a bar. Yeah. Turn to a number of pal and pagan, worshiping, witchcraft, everything, just, God coming back, so many people think it is. As soon as this other president we talking about that Trump gonna come in, it's gonna be a whole nother, it's gonna cause so much war and chaos. People got their trusted man, but then we already know these people behind this pushing this stuff and people following these folks. If it'll be a it's a whole nother shift going on. Yeah. And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumb. Eat the children's crumb. Then he said to her, For this saying, Go to your, go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. And when she had come to her house, she found the demon gone out and her daughter lying on the bed. Even the Gentiles had faith. Everybody would know the Lord is God. They're going to look calm to the Lord. so much going on in this world. I just think about so much. Keep our faith in the Lord, y'all. That's the only way you're going to make it through. You got to have faith in the Lord. You got to have trust in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have faith. We're shifting into this. All these, this, ten they, have, they, only, they don't like each other, but they have one thing in common. Go against God and His law. And for them to steal people's inheritance, they, Lord already said the small antichrist is lean up for the big one. They all with this NWO, y'all. And they're going to, next day, get them off. Because in my dream, excuse me, in one of my dreams, I had, they had these two. People going to be getting them off and still going to be disarmed. They think they're going to be saved by these, by these demons. Think because they get their mark and they think they're going to be going on with this Antichrist. Satan, 
Well, all he wants is the soul. When he get through using these and all these entertainments and stuff, I don't even watch TV no more. This stuff here. All these people, they all together. They all in this agenda. Hollywood and, and they getting a lot of these YouTubers and all them, they starting to get into this. Everybody selling their soul to the devil for riches and glory for of this world. And I'm going to be going along with it. Many lad days, y'all. There's just so much going on in this world. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. No one thing going to be the same. Worship and glorify his holy name. Just respect persecution, y'all. So much going on. Go have faith in the Lord. They messing with the food. Cattle done died. 500, 300 cattle. Trust in the Lord, y'all. He supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. Everything come from our Father. He make a way out of no way. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Knowing things will never be the same. Worship, glorify his whole name, Jesus Christ. Keep your faith in the Lord.